Hello and welcome to Fun Decay. This is going to be a quick tutorial video on how to play the basics of the game. When you first join you when you greeted with this, make sure to read these top few rules here. Eventually you're going to want to read all of it because it will outline everything you need to know to play on the server. But to start with, just read these top ones if you don't have a lot of time. Okay, so once you've done that, you're going to want to find a base because the basic idea of the server is to base, print money and raid other people's bases to get XP, to then level up and repeat. Uh, it will be another video outlining good bases, but for now we'll just use this one as our tutorial base because it's close. So the first thing you want to do is hold Q, go to Tools, and select your Rope Tool. This basically will allow you to make your KOS line. Your KOS line means you'll kill it on the sight line. If someone goes into this line, you're allowed to kill them. You can't kill them outside of this line or if they're not in a raid. It will tell you if you're in a raid, so unless it's telling you on your screen that you're in a raid, don't kill people unless they're in this line because that is against the rules and you could possibly be bad for it. Once you've done that, you're going to want to get a prop. Now, these basically will mean that it will defend your base against anyone trying to attack you during a raid. Uh, you're going to want to use the metal plate or the braille store. These are the two strongest props. Ignore the other ones. They're mainly just decorative. So you want to select this one for this base because it's the best one to use. You want to make sure you use your precision tool and make sure it's on move and the freeze target and no collide target is on. Then just click the prop go over to the door, click on the door. Now the prop is in there, but that's only one prop. One prop is very easy to get rid of. What you want to then do is go to your stacker tool. Uh, this will basically allow you to quickly put props on top of that prop. You want to make sure that freeze prop, world prop, no collide prop is selected. Make it relative to world, and this will change depending on what direction you're in, so you'll play around with it a bit, but I think this base is right. Yeah, so then in this case, it's relative to world, and it's right because that's the front of the world that's right and we want it to go this way so then we'll just spam that until you hit your wall limit it says up there now props do cost money so when you first start basing you won't have a lot of money to do this uh, but we'll get to that later then you want to go back to your precision tool here make sure that push pull amount is the max and just right click until it's gone further in basically make it so your base is very difficult to raid, there'll be a lot of props in the way. It's still possible, but it's much better than the bases that a lot of players have, so you want to aim for this, always have to stack as many props as you can on your main entrance, and only base in places with one entrance. And once the door is visible, you want to get over that that will mean that when we close this door your props can't be damaged until they open the door which is a few extra seconds so once you've done that you want to make it so you can go in and out of your base easily so and to do that we make a fading door make sure you have reverse and tool active selected bind it to a key that you want in my case I've got it as L and then just make sure that's selected and then just spam click the door and then you see the door's gone now if you press the key again it will make it come back, if you push it again, it will unlock and you can walk through it. Okay, so once you've done that, that's the basic defense done. Now when you're inside, you're going to want to spawn a few things. So the main purpose of the server is to print money. In order to do that, you need a printer and you need a generator to power that printer. We're going to start with just a diesel generator here. There's three different types of generators. The best one's uranium, the worst one's coal etc but we'll just stop diesel because that's a good mid-range one when you first join you're going to want to get your hobo printer like so oh. put that there you want to get your bronze ones and if you can afford them you want to get your silvers we'll get onto the other ones and what they mean later but for now these are the only ones you need to worry about let's just position them oh. give me a second so these will print money once that generator is powered, which we'll get onto in a minute. And you just want to, when you first start playing, just print money for a little bit until you've earned a bit of money. And then you can start looking into raiding and getting the higher level printers and stuff. But you're going to want to earn some money first so that you're in a good standing. Now, so that's a diesel generator, as it says. 
each one is different and will have a different fuel. Diesel is the red cans. So let's go and find one. So this is coal. It will show so you just pick it up and drag it. But we don't want coal. We want diesel, which is just over here. So this is a diesel can. We're just gonna grab that and buff his I'll grab it again. Not the fizz gun. Just right click and it will pick it up. Walk back to our base. Walk through our fading door and then just pop it in. So it says there it's 10 out of 20 fuel and it's going to start powering our printers soon. See, now it's, it says 1 out of 1 power uh, and they've all got power now. And it says 8 out of 20 output, which means it's doing 8 out of the possible 20 outputs it can do. You will max out your generators if you get a lot of stuff, but that's not a concern right now. So, as you can see, they're printing money. And it's just going to keep dropping on the floor, which means eventually it will despawn, which is why you want to get a money bolt. Now, get this money out of the way. And do this, and just pop it under there. You'll see that when money prints now, give it a second, it will drop into this money vault. You see that? It says money 19. Then you just click E on it and you can withdraw. That will hold all your money until you're ready to collect it and you don't have to worry about it despawning or anyone stealing it or anything like that. So that's the basics of a base. You have your defenses like this, you have your generator, your printers and your money. Okay, And you'll have to keep going out and grabbing fuel every now and then. And you're going to want to do this until you get a good amount of money, until about 100,000, something like that. Uh, maybe a little bit less before you start getting the next printers. But that's basically all you need to know um, for to start basically playing. Check out the other videos for what you do after you've got a bit of money and once you have understand these principles for where to go next. But this is a good standpoint and you should aim to just do this. Don't go for the gold printers yet until you've understood what they mean and where to go. Okay, uh, so thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the server. Goodbye.